Hey guys, Pokemon Collectibles here, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon in the Real World, or Pokemon in Real Life, or whatever you want to say it as. Today's video will probably be 10 Pokemon. I don't really know how many I'm going to do yet, because there's quite a few out there. I'm sure you guys have also noticed that quite a few of these are a main Pokemon, and then there are others kind of sprinkled in. So, I guess technically you could have 20 or 30 in there if you count the ones in the background. So, anyway guys, we are starting today with Lugia. Looks really cool, and very, very accurate actually. I like how they made him look very aquatic, and if you guys can find the other Pokemon in there... That's also really cool. It looks like it's about to bite into... Can't remember his name. The little quill fish, dude. Oh, quill fish. <laughs> <laughs> that was really stupid. Anyway, we got Mantine over here behind Lugia, or at least behind him in the picture. I don't know if it's like closer or further away or anything like that, but in the 2D picture, he is directly behind him. Up under him, next to all this coral and stuff, is probably a Seedra. A little bit more detailed than Horsey would be. So that's a Seedra, and I want to say I see a lobster in there, but maybe that's just me, the little blue thing behind Seedra. Kind of looks like that, and... That little heart-shaped fish love disc, is that it? I think that's under Mantine, so... If you guys can find any other ones in there, I think that's the only ones that I see. But that's a lot of hidden Pokemon in that picture, though. <laughs> that is a lot of hidden Pokemon. On to number two here. We have Dragonite, Dratini, and Dragonair. Looking very weird. <laughs> I have to say, Dragonite, he looks really happy, and his color is right. But other than that, he looks really, really weird. Like, his toes are just kind of wrong to me. He looks a little too much like a frog and kind of amphibian instead of looking like a lizard. Which, I mean, you would expect, you know, Dragonite being a dragon, he would look more lizard-like instead of more frog-like. So, I don't really like his back legs too much or his feet. And his neck looks really weird. But other than that, a really cool drawing. It just doesn't, to me, fully represent Dragonite. That's all. I mean, it's a, it's an amazing picture. I couldn't draw that well, but... Yeah, he's just a little off. He's just a little too frog-like. However, Dragonair and Dratini are very accurate. I do like those two. They look very much like I would expect them to look like in the real world. So that's cool. Up next, we have Lapras. An amazing drawing. And we got Mantine in the background. And it looks like Goldeen are above Lapras. We got two of those. Now, this one I actually like quite a bit. It's one of my favorites. The only thing I don't like is its face. Because I feel like Lapras would have bigger eyes than that. And those little beady black eyes kind of freak me out a little bit. <laughs> I won't lie that that is a pretty creepy looking face with those little beady eyes. But other than that, it's very, very cool. Very, very well drawn. Up next we have Kyurum, and I like this one. It also has Pilliswine in there, but what I can't figure out is what's attacking Kyurum. Like, what is that thing? <laughs> Put in the comments if you guys know what that is. I actually have no clue. I can't even begin to think of what Pokemon that is supposed to represent. I'm guessing that's a Pokemon. But if you guys know, let me know in the comments below, because I would really like to know who that is. Because, yeah, it looks very weird. Very strange. I can't really identify the colors on it. Like, if it had, if I could identify the colors, maybe I could go, go on that more and look at body shape and stuff like that. But I really, I've looked at this picture several times and I can't figure out what that is. <laughs> anyway, on to the next picture. This one I thought was really cool. I think I've had this in another of my videos before, but I never really talked about it at length. Gyarados looks very frightening. And I have a feeling that if you draw a Gyarados accurately, he would always look pretty weird. <laughs> because that, that big open mouth that he keeps all the time, just and those little eyes and all those scales. He just looks like he would be terrifying no matter how you draw him. If you draw him real world accuracy. And we got some Magikarp down under him. Some Sharpedo circling the guy on the island. We got a Waylord in the background. And it looks like up in the sky we have Wingles. So besides the Magikarp that still look kind of cartoony, this is a really cool picture. I actually like it quite a bit. Especially the uber scary Gyarados we got there. Up next we have Feraligator and his little little evolutions. Croconaw and Totodile. Now Totodile is playing with a Surskit and then Shuckle I want to say. Yeah Shuckle. Croconaw has a Shuckle that he is apparently biting into. Don't know why. That looks like something really weird. I don't think I would want to eat it <laughs> if I was a Croconaw but I guess he's not too picky when it comes to food. Up next we have Noivern and Noibat and I'm guessing some of these are probably Woobat. 
Yeah, I think some are Woobat and maybe some are Zubat. I don't really see any that are Galbat, but that's a lot of bats though for one picture. I also like how they put like a shiny in the background. See if you can find that. It is in there somewhere. It's green if that helps. Otherwise, a very cool picture, especially the Noivern, which I like a lot. That Noivern would be really big. He's actually four, almost five feet tall, so <laughs> you wouldn't want to see that in a dark alley, that's for sure. That that dude is scary looking. Also, there's a Diglett there, at least I think that's what Diglett is supposed to be, because he looks kind of like a tunneling mole, so I'm guessing that's supposed to be Diglett. I'm not really too sure. Up next, we have Kyogre, which I think is one of the most amazing Pokemon in real life pictures I've ever seen. I like it so so much. Like, I would love to own this in real life and be able to ride it around the ocean. I just think it'd be really, really cool. Now, up above that is Jellicent. I see several of those. We have a Tentacruel that apparently Kyogre is eating, and then there's one up under him. In the back, we have, behind Kyogre, we have a Sharpedo battling with the Amistar. That looks really cool. Sharpedo looks really cool in real life. <laughs> I need to find a picture of him so that you can see a bigger one, but Sharpedo, really, really cool. Kyogre, though, obviously the best one for this picture, so I like that. This is probably my favorite of the video. Feel free to put in the comments below what your favorite from this video is. Kyogre is mine. And this one I found... It's not an amazing drawing, but it is an incredibly accurate one. Because Gengar, being the ghost Pokemon that he is, would mostly probably look like smoke in the real world. It would look a lot like a ghost typically does whenever you see it in, you know, photographs that people claim are pictures of ghosts. I like that he has those really creepy, like, bloodshot red eyes that have little veins in them. He has a very creepy mouth that he is always smiling with. So all in all, a really good picture. I like it quite a bit. And last but not least, we have Bayonet. And I really like this one quite a bit just because of the kind of voodoo vibe that its Pokemon entries have it have. I like that it looks like a patchwork quilt that kind of came to life. So that's really cool. I don't really know what's up with the tail. It looks kind of like somebody stitched like a lion tail on it. Like a, a doll of a lion kind of stitched a tail on it. I mean, it makes sense with its design that it would have a, a furry tail like that. But it's kind of silly looking, but oh well. <laughs> and to go along with the kind of voodoo vibe that it has, not only is it patchwork together and looks to be falling apart in some places, got stuffing coming out of it in places, it actually has uh, pins in it, which are associated with voodoo dolls. So it basically looks like a voodoo doll come to life. Its eyes are really well done. They're the same color as it's supposed to be in the Pokemon universe. Overall, just a really cool little doll come to life, I guess, which kind of makes sense considering what Bayonet is. The zipper for a mouth is looking really, really good. So overall, a really good drawing. And that's all I have for today, guys. I will have more Pokemon in real life coming up pretty soon. I already have seven more pictures to go in the next video, and I'll probably have three more or four more for the next one pretty soon. I'll probably do that in a few weeks. If you guys are enjoying this, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to put what your favorite one is in the comments if you want to. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and have an awesome day.